and uh, let's find out more about the work of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Youth Association for the Sheffield and the Rotherham branches and uh, some of the work that they've been doing. Uh, Saeed Nazir is here, is president of the Sheffield branch. Good evening to you. Uh, good evening. And Bilal Ahmed is president of the Rotherham branch. Good evening. Good evening to you both. And uh, just before we get uh, started about some of the charitable work that you've been doing then, tell me what you've been doing today. Have you had any um, special meals or anything like that? Yes, uh, we uh, not not really in Sheffield, but um, all over the Christmas period we have been doing a lot of work. Uh, we started off with the uh, homeless feeding. Uh, it was a Christmas meal uh, given by us to the uh, cathedral archers. Uh, we cooked the food in the mosque. So it was lentils, curry, fish and chips. And wh where was this? Uh, it was cooked in the mosque, uh, okay. the food in the, uh, on in, the Attercliff. In, in Sheffield? Yes, in, in Sheffield. Sheffield. And then okay. we went to the Cathedral Archers. Uh, Archers Project, yeah, yeah, yeah. Archers working project. with homeless people. Yes, yes, yes. And then uh, we cooked the food, we took it there. The best part was that we, as um, the youth, we set up the tables for them. Uh, we we serve the food to them, mm -hmm. and that was something different for them because normally they go there and they have their own people over there. They serve them and they they go away, and it was it's more like a English food, a food for them. But this was more like a traditional food, you know, they're making them traditional same. Asian food. Yeah, traditional Asian food. So what make, sort of things did you make for them? Uh, we made lentils and rice, mm -hmm. and uh, we made uh, chicken and chips for them. Uh, and we went there, uh, but the best part was we were serving them, and the reaction was so amazing, and it it gave us the feel as well as as, as individuals that you know that there is poverty in this country as well and mm. how people appreciated our efforts. Yeah. So it was something which was, you know, very, very uh, in line with what the, the humanitarian works yeah. we do. So um, when was this actual meal then? Uh, this meal we did was on, uh, it was the previous week. Uh, previous week, yeah, and that was a special yeah. sort of Christmas-themed yes. meal. Exactly, exactly. Uh, Christmas what sort of, um, you know, in terms of numbers of people, how many people were involved? Uh, and that was about 15 people involved, uh, in which uh, it started off with cooking the food, uh, packing them up, uh, mm -hmm. and then taking them there. Uh, the food was not only uh, just given to them, but it was more of serving them as well. So setting up the table for them and even cleaning afterwards. Mm -hmm. uh, I was so much appreciated that all the homeless people who, uh, who ate food there, they stood up and you know they applauded, they clapped. Excellent. And uh, they were really happy with it because they've never seen Muslims doing such sort of an act uh, as somebody coming and giving a, a free food and not only giving the free food, but helping and serving them and even putting water in their glasses, mm -hmm. you know, something like that, which is, which is a good act. You know, as Muslims, you always do these good acts. But, you know, showing that good act is something which, which is appreciated. And um, you, you say you've got, uh, you had a round of applause. Uh, Bilal, were you there as well? Uh, no, no, I, I was basically focusing on Rotherham's side. Anyways. Okay, so uh, what, what so sort of things have been happening uh, in, in Rotherham? Uh, specifically, we, we, our team went to the Barnsley in three different uh, care homes. Uh, we served food over there. And it's a different number of figures we have served in different community centers. So it was. So this was care homes, what, for the elderly? Or? Elderly people, okay. yeah. And it was, uh, like Say Sub said, uh, it was all appreciated by our team who, who served there in Barnsley uh, mm -hmm. today. Uh, uh, basically, we, are, we belong to the Muslim Youth Association. So our team in uh, Huddersfield, uh, they have done a very good job today as well. So we wanted to highlight that part as well. Uh, our, our youth team, they basically uh, volunteered tiered 100 uh, cabs uh, services 100 cabs for aged people uh, to bring them from the ages centers and to community centers and serve, okay. serve the food so they, they took they volunteered to bring taxis yeah. Yeah. Uh, to transport people from the, uh, the care homes to a community, community center, center and to then, have a collective celebration. Yeah, and then we serve food for them and then we pack food for them for tonight as well. This is the uh, uploaded part of the uh, Christmas we have done today mm -hmm. as well in Huddersfield. But apart from Huddersfield, Barnsley, we are doing in uh, nationwide all over the country. How did you end up in Barnsley uh, from Rotherham? Uh, basically, we have a team in Barnsley as well, so, right. we, have, okay. so we have a very coordinated team uh, nationwide. Like I said, we're, we're SaySub is doing part in Sheffield, yeah. one team is doing in Barnsley. Uh, so we are focusing on Rotherham Hospital as well. So we are engaging them as well for children uh, hospital sites. So hopefully we'll do some more uh, things like that when Sheffield, uh, Rotherham Hospital as well. Who's, who's been doing the cooking then? Who's like uh, the, you know, <laughs> we've got, you know the, the best thing is that you know, we've, got, we've got the Asian chefs who, who work in takeaways as okay. well. Yeah, so we, we request them, they come to the mosque, we buy the stuff for them, yeah. uh, and they cook it. And, you know, uh, it, it was so surprising that, you know, the way they like it, because, you know, they normally normally you think, oh, they will be very spicy for, for the um, for the local people here. Yeah. But they actually loved it. Uh, it was so different, you know. So nobody complained, oh, it's too spicy. No, 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 we, and, and, and the feedback was really good. Uh, plus, we've been doing a lot, not, not only the, about the... Um, Homeless feeding, but you know we went for there's a cash for charity uh, mission uh, Christmas uh, appeal 
and uh, we went there to give 50 toys uh, to the center and came in the star. It was quite publicized. Tell me more about that. Yeah, we basically, uh, the aim was to make our young uh, children realize um, that what... Uh, what the what the poor people and especially the often often children and, and and the people around are in in the field of of having hard time in in this in this um, season. So what we did was what they, they, those children are Muslim children. They bought those gifts for them. Uh, after buying those gifts, uh, we collected them in the mosque and, and the collective about fifty gifts from all over the community in Sheffield, and we took it to the uh, cash for charity. Uh, Ch Cash for Children Charity Mission uh, Christmas yeah. Appeal. Uh, we went there, we donated those gifts to them, mm -hmm. and it was very much appreciated. Everyone, everyone loved it because they were not expecting that much of a that much of a big uh, number of gifts coming from a Muslim uh, youth group, mm -hmm. and they really liked it. What do people say to you? Because, like, you know, this is just what you said there uh, that people weren't expecting some, uh, you know, gifts like this or food like this exactly. from um, from a Muslim, yeah. and you know, and you turn up. Uh, Obviously, looking Asian, uh, and you're, you're, you're Muslim. So, what what do people say to you when uh, you give food or you give gifts? What, what what's the response? It, basically, it's Islam Islam is a religion of compassion and serving humanity. Uh, not not many people know about it because the media always portrays sometimes the wrong message. Uh, whenever something happens, oh, the Muslims would be involved in it, or Islam would be involved in it. So, I think uh, it is just the mindset uh, which ne needs to be changed. I think such sort of humanitarian acts changes the mindset of people. Mm. Uh, and we always uh, try to make an effort uh, to actually give that brotherhood, that, that kindness, yeah. that humbleness to people, and the politeness, and to show them that Muslim is a very, very peaceful religion, and to promote the message. And our, our community message is love for all, hatred for none. So mm. promote that message, uh, and peaceful the, message. The work that you're talking about, the volunteering that you've done, was covered earlier in the week on BBC Radio Sheffield's local live uh, yeah. on, online. Yeah. But do you feel that the media... Bilal, perhaps you want to answer this. Do you think that the, that the media is giving enough prominence to the good work that's going on in the Muslim communities, particularly with non-Muslim communities? Yes, I think I agree with you to some extent that the uh, media is lacking to cover the Muslim side of the picture as well. I mean, like my work colleagues, yeah, when we talk about the Christmas, they say, that, oh, you are not doing anything in Christmas. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, what you will do, you will just go yeah. sit down and uh, watch TV all day. I said, no, we do lots of work like that. When I explained to them about what we are doing in this Christmas time, they were very surprised there, and one of my colleague was saying that oh it was it, I wasn't seen this, such kind of works in in uh, news in papers. So this time uh, in the Yorkshire area, we are focusing media as well to tell the people that this is a bright picture of Islam. This is a bright picture of um, uh, brotherhood among the people. So I think we, with the passage with the passage of time, uh, the, the perception among the people will change eventually. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, obviously, it will take time. It will take time to change the mindset of the people. But obviously, it's it's uh, we are doing for our own heart, for the overall uh, benefit in, in terms of humanity. So uh, we are not following the media all the time at the moment. I mean, you've had the discussions with people. Perhaps there's a bit of surprise that Muslims are involved in uh, charity work like this and volunteering. But what sort of other discussions do you have with them? What sort of other things do you talk to, to people about that, you, you know, that you've been helping? Uh, once we go there, uh, it's just a message of, of peace and harmony and, and, and telling them that we are with them in their hard times. Uh, we are with them uh, in this, in this um, season greeting as well. And, you know, we make them, you know, the, the smile you get after doing such an act it just, you know, gives a, a soothing effect to the person who has gone there to make an effort to do such charitable work. So, you know, you, everyone, you know, the, basically the humanitarian charitable work is to bring smiles to other, other individual, you know, the people you are doing it for. And when you see that smile, uh, it, it gives you that thing. You know, yes, you know, the, the, thing, the thing you have done it, you know, it's, 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 it's caused a smile to, to the person who was suffering from, from you know, maybe you know, people, are, people actually are, are here who want someone to come to them and they really are in need of a good friend mm. who they can talk to uh, because I think the world is, is lacking, uh, lacking that, that sort of a relation, bond of relationship among each other. And certainly there's a feel-good factor to it. Bilal, uh, you f from Rotherham. In Rotherham I've seen research that there are, I think, 49,000 volunteers, people who are, you know, every year who are giving uh, their time voluntarily to yeah. help others or yeah. to help their local communities. Um, and certainly from what you've said, both of you have said, uh, Sayyid and Bilal, you've, you've talked about uh, some real commitment there of giving your time voluntarily. There's a group of people around you that are there as volunteers. What would you say to other people that are sitting at home and saying, yeah, that's great work, that you're doing really well, but they're just sitting at home. 
just yeah. listening to you. Well, how would you encourage them to get more involved in their local communities and do something positive? Yes, a uh, very good question. I think that they need to do a self-initiative purpose, I think, in, in a way that they need to go to their near, nearest care center to see what they are doing on their Christmas day. It's not really expensive just to buy chocolates uh, from a local shop and just give it to them and see the smile in, in their faces. So it's just a, a minor initiative you can do and then you can see the face smile on their faces. So I think this is the small initiative you can start on your own. Mm -hmm. you, do, you don't need a big association or company who can support you. You can do your own. But it's just, a, I think, the, like says upside that we need, we need to start from somewhere. We can't just sit down and we need to see smiles on the faces. And, and it's a perception that, oh, we are in the UK and everyone is, is enjoying the Christmas uh, a lot. But it's not happening, actually. If you go to the care home centers, if you go to the children hospitals, yeah, you'll see a lot of faces, a lot of people who are not actually uh, enjoying the Christmas yeah. day. And we need to support them. And it's important to share the love. Yeah, uh, yeah especially yeah, at, exactly. uh, at, at the time, that, times uh, like this. Yeah, I agree yeah. with you, Waheed. I think the, the love and the affection, you know, we are lacking in this community community a lot you know people have lost that um, sense of family life you know they're too busy with their with the things going around so to to get that family life back I think this is a good initiative because such sort of um, the times when they are like this is this is a, this is a Christmas time it's a mm -hmm. time where people are at home but those people who do not have a family you know just we need to think about them as well and you know as Muslims because our our teaching is uh, to to be forefront in all sort of humanitarian works, and and bringing a smile to someone's face is is the best charity, mm. you know, making someone smile, you know, giving giving them a, a sense of you know we can say that that that, that they are part of us. Uh, this is something which which we all should make an effort towards. And certainly you've done this great work over the Christmas period. Um, you've been here previously. I've, I've, yeah, you came to my house. Came to your house yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, earlier in the year yeah, yeah. to talk about some of the uh, other work that you've yes, you've been yeah. doing, uh, Said. Uh, Bilal, you've been here in the studio before to talk about the the work that you're doing. Yeah. Over 2016, you've done some great stuff. What's your plans looking ahead to 2017? Oh, we've got we've got plenty of plans coming forward. I think uh, you know every year the the amount of work we do in the previous years they they grow. And that's a good sign of a, of a progressing community. Um, in in the past, what you know, you know, we we as as a community, uh, as whole, you know, we have been 140,000 volunteer man hours we have worked mm -hmm. uh, previous years. Obviously, yeah. we would like to increase on that. Um, that's we a have, huge, we, huge yeah, achievement. Exactly, yeah, is, and yeah. we we have collected 285,000 uh, pounds of of in one year mm -hmm. and given it to various charities. And obviously, you know, our target would be to increase. Uh, from what we have collected uh, in, in the last in the last year, um, we uh, all together ten thousand people have helped in disaster response. You know the uh, when we had the flood in mm -hmm. the UK, so about ten thousand people. So you've been involved in. We've been involved in that yeah. as well. So and you know we visited about eighteen hundred uh, visits have been made to the hospitals and care homes during the year by the community. Uh, Four hundred thirty units of blood have been donated. Uh, Nine thousand seven hundred trees have been planted yeah. uh, in in, in two thousand sixteen. Benefits for the environment as well. Exactly, exactly. So obviously, whatever we have done uh, in in the in the last year, our target would be to increase the humanitarian yeah. work. So even and, more good work next yeah, year. Yeah, and be a, be a be a positive factor. Uh, and be a part of the community and so we can make a difference and uh, that's what we want you know okay. a positive difference great stuff and it's great to see that you've actually re had some figures to, <laughs> to, to be able to respond to because people say yeah we've done some great work uh, in the past you're able to talk a little about it but you've been given given some figures there uh, which you you know really made clear the the magnitude of exactly. the work that you've done and uh, I hope it's a great 2017 for you. Happy New Year Happy in advance year, yes. to both of you. Uh, you. Saeed Nazir and Bilal Ahmed from the uh, Muslim, Ahmadiyya Muslim Youth Association in Sheffield and in Rotherham. Thank you very much.